Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back. Gonna be for you. This time, we have this 90 rated Kelly Smith car. Now, this is a special version on her own icon, which is actually quite nice considering she's very new to the game as it is. So on the stats, she's 5'6", got the high medium work rates. She's got the 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, with her preferred foot obviously being that left foot. Now in terms of position, she can only play the strike and the centre forward, which means she has no variety in terms of where she can play, which is a little bit annoying in my opinion. But with that being said, she is mainly a striker anyway. On the stats, she had the 89 pace, the 91 shooting, the 86 passing, the 91 dribbling and the 78 physical. On paper, looks like quite a nice war around the card. Now I decided to go with the engine chem style just to boost up that agility, pace and that passing just a little bit more just to make her a more well-rounded striker. Now on playstyles, her main playstyle is got finesse shot, she has the dead ball which is actually quite nice, she has the first touch, she has aerial which is a little bit weird for someone that's 5 foot 6 and she also has power header. But if you do enjoy the review or want to see more, please subscribe, it generally does mean a lot to my channel and I see after positive and negatives. Peace. So, on to my other thoughts about the card then. Now, this is why I say what's good about the card, what's bad, what you should do, what you shouldn't, just so you're utilising the card as much as possible. Now, first to me kicking off is those 4-star skills, 4-star weevil. Now, the 4-star weevil was actually quite dependent on this card. The shooting, honestly, I didn't have many issues at all. Both feet really, really good. A very, very strong shooter in that respect. Now, the skills me, although I didn't utilise it too much, because it's one I'll talk about in a minute, overall, 4-star skills is the minimum necessity on a card, in my opinion, and she does have that, so that is quite nice. 
Now, next for me is Pace. Now, although she doesn't have any quick step or rapid, like, she's not particularly slow. Obviously, she might get caught up to by the fast fullback, stuff like that. But with that being said, to get through on goal, she's not particularly slow. Now, as I've already talked about, that finishing attributes are really, really nice. If she had finesse shot plus instead of that power plus, you could maybe even work that power plus with those long shots, which would be a very, very nice combo. But if you had that finesse plus as well, that is just insanely, insanely good. But with that being said, as I've already talked about, that power shot plus isn't actually too bad of an attribute to have. Now, the finishing, really, really good. The attribute is really good again. The shot power didn't have any issues. The overall for shoot work, she's a very, very clinical card. Now, next up for you, the passing. The ones that matter most are like the vision and the short pass and the curve and maybe a little bit of the long pass. And except from that long pass, she does have them in abundance, which is very, very nice. And she also has good free kicks, which I don't normally take free kicks. I normally play it short instead because I'm not very good at free kicks. But I took one with her, I'm pretty short, and I scored it. So, first for everything, eh? Now, this is one of the issues on the card. She doesn't really feel that agile for someone that's five foot six and got 92 agility, uh, dribbling base. I know she's got the 84 uh, agility, but with that being said, they don't go together that well. And she doesn't have anything like technical on her playstyle, so she doesn't particularly move that swift and nimble on the ball for someone that's that small, in my opinion. But with that being said, if you do boost it with the engine, she can twist and turn, and obviously, with those four star skills being utilized, is a good combination. Now, the physical is my main issue on this card. So she's got a good head and in jumping, but she's five foot six. She's got aerial and she's got power head, but she's five foot six. So even against the fullbacks like the Theos and the Walkers, she's not winning headers. So I really don't see the point in them at all. Obviously, when she was in the women's league, when she was uh, actually in the playing days, this is why she's got those stats. Maybe she's out jumping a lot of those uh, women because they're a little bit shorter, aren't they? But. In, in terms of a game mixed, it doesn't really make sense in my opinion. She, it's kind of a bit useless. Now, the stamina for me, as a striker, that's perfectly good enough. Um, anything above 80, I would say, as a striker, as obviously, if you put them on stay forward, they will last you the whole game, which is very, very nice. Now, this is my main instrument card. 83 strength is the biggest lie I've ever seen. She is incredibly, credibly weak on this card. Maybe it's because of that down to that aggression. But overall, she got pushed off the ball so many times. And this is why I was getting frustrated with that agility. Because when you need that um, physical, she doesn't have it. And when you need to twist and turn out those situations, she can't do it either. So it's a little bit of a hard situation to deal with them two together. But if I had to nitpick one or the other to be the worst one, it's that physical. She's so, so weak. So I... Recommend you staying away from their 50 50s as best as possible. So, once my other scores on the card, then now if you don't know how the segment works, I pretty much rank each India so you've got pace, shooting, passing, etc. So in an overall score out of 10, just so you get a little bit more understanding and obviously the overall score at the end and the value for coins. Now, the pace me, she doesn't have any quick step or rapid or anything like that, or not even just a plus, just a normal. So, over for this, I'm going to give him uh, sorry, a 7 half out of 10. I just don't particularly feel it's that fast. She's not slow, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like she needs some kind of play style to be a little bit quicker. Now, the tune for me overall, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Very, very solid on both feet. I wish she had, like, Travella or something like that, or maybe Finesse Plus that, as I've already talked about. That would be very, very nice. But overall, the shooting is very, very consistent. Now, the passing for me, I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10. He's actually very nice in this card. She doesn't have any, like, incisive pass or anything like that. But with that being said, that is very, very good um, passing stats for a striker because normally strikers don't really have good passing stats at all. Now, the Julian for me overall is a little bit hard to rank because she has good ball control, good reactions, good composure. But her actual dribbling, in a sense, isn't very good. So overall, this, I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10. I just feel like if she had maybe a bit more agility, technical plus, 5-star skills, any of those categories there and it would make her a very swift and nimble card but since she has none of them it just makes it a little bit hard to turn with now this is what annoys me the most her physicals so the only redeeming factor on this is that stamina because the physical the head and acting jumping don't matter and she's very very weak on it so overall this i'm going to give it a six out of ten now on my overall score for me then i'm going to give her sorry a 8.3 out of 10 I do think she's a good card, don't get me wrong. She's a very good finisher, and if you do have her untradeable, you're probably going to be able to use her. She is actually a usable card, but with that being said, I do feel like there's better value for coin cards out there. So, value for, I'm going to give her a 5 out of 10. I just feel like she's good, but she's not to the level of other cards in the game, which is obviously what you're looking for. You're looking for the best optimal card to try and get you into these positions, which I don't really think she is that card, in my opinion. 
But that's all for my viewers. Always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do subscribe. It generally does mean a lot to my channel. Now, if you want to see any review in particular, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try and get round to it. I'll obviously respond to you whether I can or can't do it because I don't really have unlimited unlimited coins or time. Sorry, so you might not be able to see the one you want. But I can obviously try my best. So let me know down in the comments down below, and also let me know any feedback you have. If you anything good or bad, let me know in the comments, and I'll obviously try and work on that for next time. But I've got more to say, so I'll see you next to you, and peace out, guys.